Welcome to this new video. This week, we are going to show you how to migrate your Microsoft Teams to Google Spaces. We are going to show you how to configure the migration and run it. First, log in and enter your migration project. Once in your project, your first step is to configure your connectors for connecting to Microsoft 365 and Google Spaces. Click on Connectors and click on New. Select Microsoft 365. Select Source as the direction. Select Sites, Groups, Teams for Migration Product and give your connector a name. Click Next. For this tutorial, we're going to use the automatic mode. You can use the expert mode if you want to manually create your connector. For simplicity, we are not going to use the expert mode in this video, however, more details are available in the user guide. In this screen, enter a migration account and password. It doesn't have to be the admin of the tenant. This is the account that will be used to access resources such as shared mailboxes, rooms and equipments, and so on. Next, click on Grant Admin Consent. It will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. You will be prompted to enter a global admin account. It is only necessary for installing the Azure AD application and will not be used during the migration process. Now that we have created the source connector, let's set up the target Google Spaces connector. Select a Google connector and select Target as direction, give it a name, and select Site, Groups, Teams as product. If you select the expert mode, you will have to create and provide your own service account. In this video, we are not going to use the expert mode, but the CloudAway user guide provides the full documentation for creating your own service account. Click Next and Complete. Now that the Google Connector is created, you need to give the service account that you have configured the correct permissions. For this, you have to connect to the Google Admin Console and configure the security permissions. Navigate to admin.google.com, then click on Security, Access and Data Control, then API Control, then Manage Domain-Wide Delegation. Enter the Google service account that you have defined in the connector and set the correct permissions. You can find the required permissions in the following article. How to get Google feeds and configure your Google connector. First, let's populate the migration list. It can be done in two different ways. From the Site Migration Interface, navigate to Sites, then Group List, then select Get List from the Migration menu. Or from the Discovery homepage by selecting Get Groups, Teams. In the Get Groups pop-up, select your source connector. Click on Get. You can monitor and check the logs of the discovery process. Once completed, the list of channels appear in the list. Now, let's pick up one channel and migrate it. Select the target location. Before starting the migration, start the pre-processing task. The pre-processing will create the target space and give the correct permissions to the migration account. Once the pre-processing is completed, you can start the migration and come back later once it's done. Good! The migration is completed. Initially, we had this team
After the migration, here is the result. You see that the messages have been migrated from Microsoft Teams to Google Space. In the CloudAway portal, we can also see the statistics of the migration in the user details. We can also see a consolidated view of the statistics in the global dashboard. Thank you for watching and check out our other migration guides.